I'm Duncan Bailey. My name is Alex Kidd. My name is Jackie Pridmore. My name is Maria Bailey. My name is Carl Langman. My name is Angus Usher. My name's Robbie Williams. And I work at Cothill House School. And I'm head major at Cothill House. Headmaster at Cothill House. I run the Year 8 boarding at Cothill House. My job is the Year 5 house parent. So I'm the um, house parent for the uh, Year 6 and 7 boys. I'm head of boarding and uh, the headmaster's wife. What I love most about Cothill House is the boarding. Boarding at Cothill House is so special because I feel that it has that sort of family feel to it. The boys are very happy and away from home, but it is a home we are creating for them. When they come up here, I think they sort of get that sense of, you know, it's like home, but with so much more activities. And they've got sort of 14 brothers to play with. I think that's a big thing for them. When they come running up, they just can't wait to do their next activity. So one of the best parts of the day will be that moment in the evening when the boarding activities might happen. That is a, a chance for the, the boarding parents to be able to organise some amazing activities, which ultimately the boys aren't going to want to miss Nerf gun wars up in the dorms or, or, or cooking in the kitchen. One of the favourite sports at Cot Hill is pyjama cricket. You know, eight o'clock in the evening on a summer time uh, out there in your PJs, but they're still getting their pads and their boots on. And, and this, this is only possible uh, at a boarding school like ours. What I love to see them as well is reading. I think that's so, so important. It's so nice to see them winding down at the end of the evening, lying on their beds, all ready to go to sleep reading a good book. I've got these fairy lights in the dorms and we have like meditation music going for like half an hour and they read. So they've had like a really busy day but then they, they sort of slowly come down. It's like landing a plane and then they go to bed. At Cot Hill we have three part-time nurses, we have two day matrons and we have two residential matrons and between us we cover every single moment. Obviously we've got these amazing house parents who are there to help them and uh, they find a way to make sure that ease and uh, we have this homely, friendly, lovely environment where everybody can thrive. I think as a team, you won't find better staff anywhere else. The boys at Cottle really do seem to have good relationships with their staff and the staff with the boys. My favourite boarding master is Mr Kid. You're like feeling a bit homesick and then you can just go to him and just he'll really sort you out and get you distracted. And if you respect them, they'll give you respect back. And that's why Harris parents are the best. We are always here to support them. We want to try and give them as much independence as possible. The year eights have to get out of bed themselves. They know they have to get to breakfast at a certain time. They have to organise themselves, have to make sure they've got everything they need before they head over to main school. We've got this lovely new building that's a nice, calm environment. The boarding staff, and that's the teachers as well, will all sit and have breakfast with the boys. The boys seem to really love the lunches uh, and they don't stop talking about the lunches that they get and how many options they have available to them. I remember one lunchtime actually a boy sat down, he was a new boy, he just arrived and we were having lunch together at the table and he looked at me and he started throwing his hands in the air going, I'm in heaven, sir. This food is amazing. I came in year five. I thought it was magical and I sort of just felt like everyone knew how you were feeling and how, how to cope with you. He felt that connection with the school already even though I've been there, I don't know, four or five hours. We want to include parents at Cot Hill as much as we possibly can. They're invited to come and watch matches, and there are matches every week, sometimes two, three times a week. We have concerts that they can come to. There are lots of drama performances. There are a lot of times that, 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 that parents can come in and participate uh, in their own child's uh, success. Obviously, home comforts are really important for them, so that's what we try here at Cot Hill is we make it as warm as we can, fun, energy, and. I think just so the boys know they've got someone to go to. The boys often come to me to watch maybe a football match or watch a film or just come in for a chat that will make crepe or um, hot chocolate in my kitchen and uh, they're always welcome and they know that and make sure they know they can come at any time of the day. I am, uh, I suppose, still a Cot Hill boy. Uh, I'm still able to enjoy the same things that the boys enjoy. I still love being outside. I love climbing the trees at Cot Hill House because some of them are tough, some of them are really easy. What I like about the Cot Hill boys is they're very accepting of each other. I love working with Cot Hill boys because they are so lively, so interesting, so enthusiastic. The, the boys are allowed to be boys. 